We're back. About to do a S14 walk around. I haven't really posted any like walk around videos whatsoever of the car being refreshed. So we'll get the 13 in the background. We'll quickly go over that. Why not? So yeah, as you may or may not know, I've had the S13 for about two years now. I bought it as a uh, rolling shell, basically just a chassis, had both subframes and nothing else, completely bare. Had the roll cage, so it's got an eight point cage in it, which is fully legal to be uh, competing in competitions such as, you know, D1NZ, things like that. It's, um, yeah, eight points, so it's coming right through. Started off as a SR20D. So it was a DE at the start. Um, I did a couple track days in it. Just wanted to get used to the S13. As I was super used to drifting the S14. Same sort of chassis, but as you know, every car feels different. Uh, once we got a few track days done. So yeah, it's got the uh, side intrusion bars there. Ride bucket seats. Uh, just a random steering wheel. I did the suede wrap on the dash. So it looks pretty sweet. I've uh, got a switch panel there, uh, ECU, things like that are under the other side. We'll go check that out in a second. Uh, so battery is just behind the seat. You see it tucked in there. Running um, 18 by 10 and a half plus 15. TEs in the front. Surprisingly, we got full lock with a full lock setup. Uh, so it's got uh, relocated steering rack, Driftworks knuckles. That's all round two. Got Driftworks drop knuckles. Uh, the V one so it's a pretty pretty old knuckle but it does this car perfect i uh, also got extended lcas tie rods uh got caster arms in there too uh four pot r32 big brakes uh running nitto nt05 semi slicks at the front it's a 245 so it's a bigger tire usually uh everyone's running like a 17 18 stagger i was at the start but now I was like, why not? Send some 18. You've got the TEs and the Blitz, both my dream wheels. Soon to be full origin race line with the 55s at the front too. Basically just gonna match that there. So we have 55 rear guards, uh, 30 mil fronts, which are obviously going. We're gonna switch that out to the 55 fronts as well. Uh, race line rear bumper. Maybe like a twin three inch. Lobster style exhaust. Uh, I got the D Max style, like crystal sort of lights. I also got D Max boot lip, Origin roof wing. Also, it's on uh, D2. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's D2 version 2 coilovers. Uh, 18 by 11 plus 15 in the back. Running a 265 tire, so it's pretty massive, but I just want this thing to be a grip machine. I want to be doing backies all day, every day. So under the dash here, we have uh, the ECU. It's the Max ECU Sport, which is perfect for an SR20 Plus T conversion. A fuses there. Super sweet. Got the door cards cut out for the cage too, which makes it look super sick. Simple interior, but it's exactly what I'm all about. Over to the motor, so originally it was a SR20 DE running a GDX 2860 Gen 2, uh, it's full V-band, so V-band rear and also, you see down there, V-band to the manifold, which saves pretty much every gasket from blowing up because it doesn't have the gasket anymore, so that was super expensive but worth every penny. Uh, it's got a 38mm wastegate which we are switching out to... Mil which is the new uh, ProGate from Turbo Smart, or it's their, one of their bigger bigger style gates. The thing behind that is uh, we took it for a tune. Uh, it did perfect. I, this is the first sort of car I've fully put together myself. I did have a few um, friends help me out with just things that I needed, um, basically just looking over me, making sure I'm doing the right thing. So there was JR Fab. He helped me out with all the fabrication work. Um, also... Um, help me install like the springs things like that because I teared the whole motor down by myself Which was super scary, but at the same time I'm more than keen to do it again now I'm you know sort of confident enough to build another car when it gets to that time also Stu from uh, PWS precision wiring solutions 
literally the best wire up there is to date um he's helped me out with the s14 s13 basically got these cars running perfect um so shout out to him as well shout out to both the boys for helping me out just all my homies that have you know been helping out with all the motors things like that with the tune as well uh yeah what i say we went there on monday so a few days ago depending on when this video comes out i try to get it up tonight uh we did basically about 220 kilowatts so about 300 horsepower is what it was pushing before 6000 rpm boost spiking 20 psi um obviously if you guys know a sr20 de stock should not take 20 psi i mean it did and we obviously took it off uh james from jt performance he's the guy that basically sorts out all my tuning so if you ever need any tuning i'll put like all the links down in bio as well so you can um basically make your cars like this make them the best they ever could be but yeah he basically uh just said to upgrade to a 50 mil gate which is going to give us more airflow basically for the gdx turbo because it wants to work so efficiently just spooling up so quick has so much airflow just the smaller gate couldn't keep up so with upgrading that gate we're going to have more airflow be able to keep the boost down to rev it out to you know about seven and a half k rpm while keeping it about 15 16 pounds potentially not 20 plus you know which is good it's never a bad thing to make more boost just obviously with the stock bottom in and the, i think the de makes about 140 to the wheel now it's making you know 300 plus at 6000 rpm which is crazy um yeah so we're just going to change that gate out do a new flange things like that we'll be back for a retune in the next couple of weeks and we'll definitely be filming that too so yeah we have the tube front um i got jr basically to do everything from here forward uh, so he's done the bars, um, intercooler piping, um, all the intercooler mounts, rad mounts, things like that, which is super sweet. We went for the mid-mount intercooler just to save, um, obviously, when you come off the track, you don't really want to hit the bottom because the front mount sits quite low. Uh, with the mid-mount also, shorter piping, better response. So we have the, uh, the VAG, like the R8 style coil pack conversion which is sweet we're still using the dizzy but stripped it down just to use it as basically like it's yeah basically like a cast for the debt three inch exhaust stainless all the way back uh we have the eight i think the 875 cc injectors are uh, from bosch potentially i think it's a some some brand like that also have an aeroflow top feed fuel rail a bit of a tongue twister it's a perfect conversion I've, i'm running the same on that over there We've got HKS valve springs, uh, it's got ARP head studs, Cometic head gasket, yeah, the Calford cams, and it's like a, sort of like a special sort of combo, I guess, for the Plus T. It's a 266 cam on the exhaust, and 264 or 267, correct me if I'm wrong, everyone in the comments, thank you very much, but it's a two different cam sizes for intake and exhaust, basically works as a bloody perfect combo for something like this. The rest of the plan for this thing is just that retune with the uh, new gate over here. So yeah, we've got the 50 mil Turbo Smart gate, which is about $700, which is crazy, but got to do what you got to do. And no expense was spared on this car, so I'm yeah, definitely not going to cheap out on the wastegate. That's literally the last thing. Uh, what else is coming? Obviously, uh, maybe a hood. Potentially a hood. Probably just paint it. Um, also, our 55 front fenders origin race line front bumper and side skirts and then it's going to get a full repaint probably just in the same red here which is a 29 percent sure it's the xr6 falcon um is it like ba ba falcon the red from that so it's a super common color should be easy enough to get a few liters of that uh jacob berry one of my other homies he does all the paint work on my cars so he's going to do that for me and now we shall show you the recently updated S14, which has been a massive project of mine. I think I bought it when I was 16 years old, um, 22 now, so you do the math on that. I've had it for a long time. I brought this thing to school. I uh, bought it for, you know, $4,000 when it was non-turbo DE. Literally all the money I had sold my, you know, my motorbike, my first car, which was a Honda. Managed to get this thing through and repainted the whole car. Literally inside and out, whole thing is green. And green's all you get. I'm not telling you the color. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so boots all done. 
boot jams. I uh, went back to the facelift wing. Uh, it's got an Origin Raceline kit, 55 fenders that I molded in. So it basically looks like it's factory. Uh, some people, you know, buzz out about it. It's pretty crazy. They even forget about it. So just with a street car, always wanted just no rivets. So recently just painted the engine bay. This was uh, Jacob Berry that did this. We'll also link his uh, Instagram down below if you need any paint work. Just look how crazy this bloody thing turned out. All one color. So it was a factory uh, WK0 pearl white. Uh, but yeah, obviously now it is full green. Back to the color I wanted. Uh, just the yeah, the only thing that led it down was that it was white when you, you know, opened up the engine bay and doors. So we've done all the door jams. Literally everything is green now, which is just so sick to look at. I can't really believe it. Uh, we have the bride, our Japan suede, glitter back seats. Likewise, shifter, grip royal, steering wheel. Also got the handbrake button there. Stock dash, uncracked dash, pretty hard to come by. Uh, just a boost gauge there. Got one of the discontinued Keep It Street Street Side Air Fresheners. Super sick. So if you got one of those, shout out to you. Uh, super clean door cards, things like that. Here's an unreleased sticker here too. Just about to drop this in the new year. Not too bad. Yeah, so here we come to the engine bay. I have done a bit of a walk around on this before, but for the new viewers, it's a S15, SR20 debt. Uh, this is a new motor that came out of an S15. Uh, one of my friends, Luke, uh, back in the day had this, did a few track days in it. Uh, it's got a Tomei 256 cam, head gasket. Uh, I'm not sure about studs, things like that, potentially, but it's on 267 kilowatt. Uh, 450 newton meters of torque just at 16 pounds of boost which is perfect for me running a uh, thousand cc injectors top feed fuel setup uh catch can front mount uh we got some split fire cool packs in there gritty tdo6 which makes the best noises i used to run mid mount unfortunately the mid mount was super cracked so i've just gone to a cinco manifold the one that my other friends did, uh, that was Lance, that did that. He's running a 40mm gate on that. Uh, AN uh, lines for the oil feed, oil drain. Uh, it's got a new filter because they keep blowing the bloody things off. Just got to run no blow off valve, so it just doses super hard and I think it just tries to rip it off. Um, yeah, front mount intercooler. It's a, it's a proven setup. Like, I think, uh, let's get back into the damn shade real quick. Something's going on. Anyway, so that was tuned at JT as well. He did that about two and a half years ago. And this car has been faultless. I've done multiple track days in it, uh, multiple skid pan days, multiple cruise days, massive drives, everything. Car's damn perfect. I could not fault it. Maybe, you know, a little bit more power in the future, but maybe a K24 swap in the future, something like that. But for now, the car's basically how I always wanted it, how I envisioned it from the start. And yeah, now we get onto the exterior. So some more dream wheels of mine. I bought these about three years ago. Uh, they were plastic to black, which was <laughs> damn ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I've recently rebuilt uh, the rears. Did the fronts about a year ago. So that was, uh, cost me about eight grand all up to build these wheels. Luckily, because now these wheels are going off and they are worth about that, maybe even a bit more. We're running 18, 10 and a half, negative 20 with a 6 inch lip, 4 and a half inch barrel at the front. Uh, also got the GK Tech RCC kit just to push it out, give us that 25 mil extension. So as you can see, it sits super nice. Could come a bit lower, but as I said, it's such a big wheel, the 18, 10 and a half, negative 20. I can barely turn, so it just looks cool. Uh, in the back we have an 1811 with a 7 inch lip which is massive we managed to get it fitting in there super nice a lot of camber 
I'll show you this one over here too. So yeah, as you see, a lot of camber, but it does what we need it to do. Uh, polish faces, there's a guy in Hamilton that can do that. So if you guys ever need any polishing work, just let me know and I'll send you his way. But yeah, uh, we also have the Aero 23 power Aero mirrors. Just check these things out, amazing. Uh, got the blue glass there also. Uh, fully electric as well, so if you guys need them, shoot me a message. But yeah, here is the S14. I'll give you guys an update of the S13 once that's tuned. If you guys want a few pulls, things like that, in the S14, I'll get some guys to come out and film me. Super hard to film by myself. Like, uh, I'm not too keen to put my phone down in case, you know, it falls over. Then you just get a ruined clip. If anyone's keen to come out, film some uh, YouTube clips, let me know. I'll be super down. Um, car's back, running now. Just a few minor things that I need to do to the S14. But yeah, like we can go out for summer cruises. I'm finally back on. Needs a waff again, which is not the best thing, but I'm sure with the refresh that I've done, it's gonna fly through. But yeah, and then the S13. That is, yeah, hopefully gonna get retuned in a couple uh, weeks, actually. A couple weeks, I'll give you guys an update on that. And yeah, hopefully we're gonna make 300 to 350 DE bottom end, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, uh, how about this? Uh, if you get the exact number uh, horsepower, I'll throw you a sticker. So spam the comments, um, let me know what you think it's gonna make. I'm guessing about, I wanna make 350. That's what I really wanna make. It probably is gonna make a lot less. But yeah, just going off what it was doing, it may make more power. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.